Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome you to CTC Math. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with things quite quickly. So, when we first log in as a parent, you'll be taken to this home page here, or Parent Centre. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice, this bright red banner here, click here to add a student. Well, we want to get our kids working as quickly as we can, so we'll have a look at that to begin with. Now, adding a student, really simple process. Click the plus icon here, the drop box comes down, and then we simply add our kids' names into the relevant boxes. Now, once we've done that, click Generate Unique Username and Password, and we can see that Marcus has now got his own username and password that he'll use any time he logs into CTC Math. Now, there's also this pass grade down the bottom here. By default, that one's set to 80. That can be changed, but we'll have a look at that in more detail in another video. Now, before we move on, always make sure we move over here and click Save Changes. So we can see here in the Student Centre now, Marcus has been added. Obviously got no logins at this stage, though. Now, if we need to add any more students, exactly the same process. Click Plus, add the name and details, and then Save Changes. Now, we'll take a few moments to have a look over this Parent Centre here. In order to do that a little bit more effectively though, what we're going to do, we're going to jump forward in time a little bit. So here we are a little bit further down the track now. And if we have a look over here at the student section, we can see that we've got both our kids registered and they've both been working on their math for a while now. Now in this section, we can access some basic information. We can see their most recent login, how many lessons they've completed, and then an overall grade for their work so far. Now if we move over to the left a little bit, in this part here we can access their most recent activity, so lessons they've completed, results and so on. We can get copies of any awards that our kids have received here. And we can also get access to these weekly reports if you've signed up for them. Now these are a great way of keeping in touch with your kids' progress, checking how they're going in terms of completing lesson, results and so on. Now when you're first registered with CTC Math, for some reason, if you didn't sign up for these weekly reports, I'd strongly recommend that you change that, and it's quite an easy fix. I'll show you how to do that right now. So we simply need to go down to this parent section here at the bottom, and you'll see that I've already got weekly progress report ticked. Now, if that's not done to fix it, all we've got to do, click this edit button here. This drop box comes down, and down the bottom you'll see you've got these three check boxes here. So first one, Definitely make sure there's a tick there to get that weekly progress report. And then you can choose whether you want to have copies of your kids' awards and certificates emailed to you, or if you want to get copies of a newsletter from CTC Math. Now, if you have made any changes in this Dropbox before you move on, make sure you go down here and click Save Changes. Now, moving up a bit further, this time to the Latest Tasks section. Well, this gives you information about the most recent tasks that you've set for your students. And if we go right to the top, this time we'll actually click on that Tasks tab there. Well, this first of all shows us the most recent active tasks that we've set for our kids. But if we move down here, uncheck this box, Hide Older Tasks. Well, that gives us a more comprehensive list of tasks that have been set. And if we also uncheck this one, Hide Weekly Revision Tasks, we're able to see any of the weekly revision sheets that you may have set for your students. Now, on this page here, you're also able to edit, delete or share any of these tasks with any of your kids. Now moving back to the top, this time we'll click on the Tools tab. Now here we're able to browse through all of the lessons available on CTC Math. Now there's quite a lot of them, so to make this list a bit easier to work with, we can move over here and we can sort them, first of all by course, then by stream, and then lastly by topic. Now if we move under here and we highlight any of these lessons. Say this one here, move down the bottom, and you can see we've got a direct link to the video tutorial for the lesson, the online or interactive questions, the worksheet and the solutions, and then lastly the lesson summary. And then underneath that, this list here, this is something parents are going to absolutely love. This gives us the answers to all of the questions on the worksheet. Now this can be really handy as we get into some of those higher grade levels and the lessons become a bit trickier. Then underneath that, you'll see we've got this web address here. Well, this is a direct URL or link to this particular lesson. 
Very handy if you want to share work with students, maybe via social media or through email. Takes them straight to this lesson here so they don't need to worry about logging in and then searching. Now moving back up here, this time we'll click on the Export Data tab. And here we're able to access a whole heap of information in CSV form, which is really handy if you want to maybe put data into a spreadsheet to allow you to do some more analysis or organisation of your curriculum. So you can see here the first couple, they give you information about your student usage and their performance results and so on, their most recent activities available here, and then the entire CTC math curriculum is available in this one. Now moving back to the left, we can click on this checklist tab. Now this is particularly handy for homeschoolers. If we go over here and look at any one of these checklists, we can choose to download the file. And this gives us the entire curriculum in a checklist form. So we're able to keep a running record as to how our kids are going completing their work. Now we'll move back up here and go back to the home page again. And I'll show you a feature I think you'll find really handy. Right at the top here, if we click on this button, switch to student view. And this allows us to view the site exactly as our kids will see it. So over here we can see we've got our three different levels and we're able to choose within them different grade or courses and then narrow that down to the different strands. We can then choose a topic within each of the strands and then finally we've got the different lessons within each topic. Now also within each of these topics we've got access here to three different diagnostic tests. And these are a fantastic way of just checking up if there's any particular areas where your kids are struggling with their work. Now, just one word of caution here, if you do want your students to work on any lessons, make sure you go to the top here and click on this sign out button and get them to log in using their username and password. Otherwise, they're going to be completing their work underneath your details. Now, we'll go back here and switch back to parent view. And if you want to access some more detailed information about how your kids are going with their work, over here in the student section for any of your kids, click on this view profile button. And this gives you access to a whole host of information. You can see we can get both detailed and summary reports on your kids' progress, how they've gone in any of the diagnostic tests or any tasks that you may have set, get copies of any awards they've received, see how they've gone in any speed skills activities, check their most recent user history, and lastly, have a look at how they're going in any of the weekly revision tasks you may have set. Well, that's given you a pretty quick introduction just to help you get going there. Now, there are other videos available that'll show you in more detail how you can do things like add tasks, access those more detailed reports and so on. Now, I'd really recommend that you watch those videos so you can make sure that you get the maximum possible benefit out of CTC Math. Now, the last thing that I will say, any time that you leave the site, make sure you go to the top here and click this Sign Out button. It just gives you a secure way of logging out. 